everyone, I've got a new review for you and this one's for a new Netflix release, The Ritual. I've really been looking forward to this movie because I've been a big fan of director David Bruckner's work in the horror anthologies, VHS and Southbound, both Amateur Night and the Accident are just exceptional shorts. So really, I expected The Ritual to be good and it is. The movie features a group of friends planning a vacation together and what they wind up going with is hiking the King's Trail in northern Sweden. While on that hike, at a point they opt to take a shortcut, which of course is never a smart move in a movie like this, and sure enough, they wind up encountering something super dangerous. Yeah, I've heard many watch the trailer for this one and say, oh, it's just gonna be another Blair Witch Project. Yes, it is about guys who run into some super creepy stuff in the woods, and the general trajectory of the story does feel a little bit familiar, but between the characters and what the ritual winds up being about, it most certainly is a worthwhile Lost in the Woods horror movie. The four leads in this are Rafe Spall as Luke, Arsher Ali as Phil, Robert James Collier as Hutch, and Sam Troughton as Dom, and their believable chemistry is just vital to the success of the film. They deliver great work when it comes to capturing the tension and stress of what they're struggling through right now, but they also manage to give off the feeling that they are truly four guys who have known each other for years, and that quality also shines in the screenplay as well. Joe Barton penned the script for this from the Adam Neville novel, and his adaptation is filled with dialogue and behaviors that convey a lot of history without leaning on heavy-handed remember-when type moments. The movie doesn't tell you everyone's wives' names, their careers, and how many kids they have, but you still get the feeling that you've gotten to know these guys, who they are, their flaws, how they fit into this group of friends, and that's more than enough to carry them through the film and spark a significant amount of investment in what they're going through. As for what they are dealing with here, it's creepy. The landscapes here are beautifully shot by Adam Shulkin, and then they spiral into a chilling stream of endless trees and darkness that wind up feeling inescapable. The camera moves are also spot on. There are a number of very effective pushes and tracking shots through the trees that almost put you in a Where's Waldo mode, frantically just scanning the frame for something creepy lurking in the woods. The lighting in the ritual is also fantastic, unsettling backlights, lightning, fire, flashlights during the night scenes, and especially how all that compares to the harsh fluorescent lighting in another location. And when you pair those visuals with Ben Lovett's score, which is just filled with eerie strings and tones and also this heartbeat-like effect that all comes and goes in their subtlety at just the right moments, it all just really put me on edge. And as for the story and the scares, yeah, you do get that moment when you're shouting at the screen for them not to go into the creepy woods and other similar moments, but the fact that these characters feel like real people really helps the movie get past that. And then when you start to dig into the horror of it all, boy, does this thing just fly forward. I don't want to give away exactly what's going on here, but Bruckner and his team do excellent work keeping you uneasy while moving down a very interesting and unsettling dark path. I just really dug what this turned out to be, so I'm going to give The Ritual three and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. This is quality horror. Yes, it follows a familiar Lost in the Woods storyline to a degree, but believable characters, Bruckner's creative touch, and what this all winds up being in the end makes The Ritual a highly entertaining, chilling, and satisfying watch, too. So those right there are my thoughts, but now how about you give me yours? Tell me what you think of the ritual in the comments section below. And before I close out this video, I've got a Patreon shout out for two longtime very generous supporters. They are Tony Morrow and David Bell. Guys, I've told you this many times before, but I've got to keep saying it because I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. And thanks to everyone watching this video right now. Please don't forget to like and share. I'll see you soon.